Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ward Civic, and today we're going to be unboxing my new competitive gaming monitor, the ASUS PG2070 AQN. This is the literal world's first 1440p 360Hz display, and since its announcement earlier this year in January at CES, I have been anxiously waiting for its release. It's finally here. Before we hop in, I just want to say a special thank you to my great friend Mark. This display is only being sold at two retailers currently in the U.S., Newegg online, which is currently all sold out. There's a rumor actually going around that they might not get any more stock to the end of the year, which is pretty crazy. Um, and then Micro Center, which I don't sadly have any near me, but he had two Micro Centers near him, and one of them had literally one left in stock. So, Mark, I am super appreciated for that, and thank you so much. I would not have my hands on this monitor today if it wasn't for you. Now, I was saying that before we hop in, I would just like to say if you guys like what you see, please make sure to hit the like subscribe button. I was saying that, let's hop right in. So, first and foremost, I've already taken the liberty of taking the tape off the top of the box. Um, I was not going to waste two minutes trying to finick and try to get it all right. Um, so, we've already done that. Uh, I got this monitor like strictly for Overwatch 2. Um, I'm definitely going to be playing other games with a display, and if there's anything you specifically want me to test on here, I definitely can. But, Overwatch 2 has been like my go-to FPS game for the past six years since it's released all the way back in 2016, and I love it so much. I almost have like 2,000 hours combined between Overwatch 1 and 2. Um, now, with saying that, I do have my issues with Overwatch 2. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you OP. Um, tanks are like raid bosses. Um, show ranks during games. But regardless, I shelled out $1,000 for a display specifically for playing the game. So, even though I have my issues with it, I love the game a uh, freaking lot to be able to shell out this much money for the display. Um, this is a pretty heavy box, and it looks like it's not going to slide out just normally. So, we're going to turn it over here and lift it up this way. Ooh, even with that, it's kind of... Um, okay, so, sorry for all that noise that I just made with all that. Um, let me change that to something, yeah, like that. Okay, so, it looks like it comes with all of this labeling and stickers. I'm guessing you can put on either the monitor itself or the, um, case for your PC, the tower case. It also has a color calibration testing report. That's pretty cool. Do all monitors come with something like this? Because... Even with my G9 Neo or my other monitors, I don't remember getting something like this. It might just be an Asus thing because this is actually really freaking cool. Um, never seen anything like that before. Um, then right here, we have the power cabling. Um, I'm guessing to power the monitor itself. Um, okay, or maybe I'm incorrect. It looks like it might actually just be a stand. Okay, so this is probably the back plate that goes on the back of the display to hide the wiring, I'm guessing. We'll see in a second there. Um, then right here, Asus VIP member notice, I'm guessing for warranty and different stuff like that. Yes, that is what it is. Um, right here, we have Welcome to the Elite Republic of Gamers community. Your RG Swift game monitor is engineered and tested for gaming perfection. It's time to experience gaming mastery on another level. Um, this monitor, as I said, is really expensive, so I'm hoping it lives up to the hype of what it is claiming. Um, not only reaches 1440p, 36 years monitor, but I am really hoping all the colors and everything is. I believe the HDR can reach up to, uh, what's it called, 600 nits? Then again, I do stream, and HDR uh, looks really weird during streaming. I will definitely test that out just, you know, for purposes of whoever wants to use it specifically. But I will not personally be using HDR on this display because, as I said, I stream. And, I mean, I could use it when I'm not streaming, but then again, it would... I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, so, right here, my bad. Let's take this out. I actually haven't unboxed anything in a quick minute now. Um, this is the power brick that the 
uh, monitor plugged up to the monitor and then the other side is going to be the thing that plugs into a power outlet that is this right here and then right here we have the wow this is some really freaking cool packaging like, i mean obviously you're gonna throw your symbol over everything but i have for you guys have been watching this channel for a while have basically my new build has like Asus, like, everything, um, except RAM, and except the GPU. I tried to get the Asus Strix 4090, but that's sold out, but I believe basically, well, and, well, I'm getting specifics, but my M2 drive is, you, everything that can be Asus, other than two things, is basically Asus. Um, this is a, oh, the USB, so you can plug up your, um, what's it called, USB devices into the actual monitor, that's really cool. Um, then we have a display port, which is what I'm going to be using because right here is the HDMI. I don't believe that the monitor can reach the 360 hertz, uh, 44 speed with HDMI. We're going to keep it in its packaging right there. We're just going to put this down right here on the ground. Um, then right here we have the actual display. I'm going to walk right here front for a second. We don't want it to... To fall, you gotta be extra careful with the actual display itself. Okay. Now oh, the stand is on that part of the styrofoam, and we're gonna move this over here. Okay. So as I said, oh. Didn't break anything, it's just moving the, the plastic off of it. As I said, I've never actually got an Asus monitor before. I have really, over the past couple of years, been an Acer Predator man. Um, not really because I had a specific preference, but for a lot of the specific displays that I wanted to get, Acer was like the first one getting out of the, the gate. But funnily enough, there is no Acer equivalent that I know of, 1440p, 360 hertz. Let's place that down right there. And this is, as I said at the beginning of the video, the world's first 1440p 360 hertz monitor. Ooh. I'm sorry, this, this unboxing is just so, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying my absolute best, and as I said, I haven't done one in a while, and I'm feeling a little under the weather. I, I apologize about my voice if it sounds kind of crusty or whatever. And I have the monitor upside down, so we're gonna turn it right side up. Just go, leave. Okay, good. Um, okay, so it looks like it goes up that way. We're currently, right now, I'm going to lay it like that. Um, honestly, goodness gracious. Okay, that's not. Just, I'm sorry. I can, like that. I know you guys, a lot of you guys right now are probably cringing. Why the hell would you prop it up like that? It's temporary. I'm going to put it on the stand right now. Um, get this out of the packaging. Okay, so, oh, it has, okay, well, I mean, I knew it already had it, but I, um, it has that, like, the gold or, I guess, copper color. It looks really pretty. Um, do we even need to look at the instruction manual to put it on? It looks like it just props right on if I'm correct. Yeah, it looks like it just props right on. I don't think it's that complicated. Okay. Okay, so there you go. Is it supposed to lock in as soon as you, oh, it looks like it did. Oh, no, it did not. Okay, so let's see. Um, oh, okay, so once you put it in like that, I know you guys are going to cringe when I do this. Sorry, I got to. Put it straight flat down carefully, delicately, and looks like it spins, I think. Am I doing it correctly? Yes, I am. Okay. 
There we go. Voila. Um, so it is very pretty. Um, I know a lot of people, well, this is a gaming monitor, but I know a lot of people don't like the gamer aesthetic for a lot of their stuff, especially people that like to look, make their setups look a lot like cleaner and almost professional like. But this is the backside of the display. It has the Asus um, logo. I'm guessing that glows up. Um, very gamey background. Almost looks like a mural. Um, I don't think it has that like Acer Predator magic, you know, like the whole display like lighting up in the back. But I can say like it looks really freaking cool. So right now we're going to boot it up. Um, I'm going to try to have some gameplay videos of it up as uh, soon as possible. Also, in either the review or the gameplay videos, I will do a UFO test because I know about. Okay, guys, so I know I said I wasn't going to do any gameplay. I'm kind of contradicting exactly, like, the whole point of the video because it was just supposed to be an unboxing. But I just wanted to give you guys my um, early impressions of what I think of the display. I've had it for about 30 minutes now. Um, first and foremost, I can just say the 1440p versus the 1080p text is definitely a lot more legible compared to my X25 Predator that I've been using for the past year or so. I can say that the colors on this display are a lot more vibrant. Motion clarity, from what I can see, is pretty impressive. And um, another thing, I don't know if this just has to do with the display being bigger in general, but also the uptick in the resolution, a lot of the uh, text is a lot more readable than it was on my 1080p display. I'm currently sitting at about three feet away from the display from where I'm at, and I can clearly see that I am Plat 5 on tank, Diamond 5 on DPS, and then Plat 1 on support. In the 1080p display for the X25 Predator, I would literally have to go right up to the screen to be able to tell exactly what I'm looking at. And even then, the text would be just like so small. Honestly, this I feel like this is an issue on the UI part, but regardless, the text would be so small at 1080p that it was kind of like hard for me to even read what rank I was. Um, also, right here, I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of some gameplay. I'm gonna do an entire rank game in a video because I know a lot of you guys wanna see that on this display. But um, in NVIDIA's video that they put out a couple weeks before the 4090, they put that you were able to get like almost up to 500 FPS at um, this resolution and honestly that's not that far-fetched i'm currently playing i forgot to show that first at 1440p full screen 100 percent game resolution we have the max fps set at 600 and we are playing at absolutely every setting at max every setting oh anti aliasing let me turn that up every setting at absolute max and we are getting looks like about 400 fps here um, it's looking like it's going up to almost 420 at its highest. But then again, you got to remember, this is max settings. And as I was saying before, the clarity on this display, like the motion clarity of like the motion of the display is just absolutely fantastic. Like I cannot be any more impressed with uh well i mean you know honestly you could always be more impressed but i am actually very impressed with how clean and slick the motion of everything is like even like the reload animations the text is very readily readable and stuff like that and i'm just very very impressed with the display now saying that like always thank you guys again so much for watching this is going to be the display that i'm going to be using for streaming so if you haven't already follow lord civic on twitch I was saying that, look forward to the review. I should have it within the next two weeks or so. I want to have my time to use this monitor. But with saying that, make sure to hit that like, subscribe button. With saying that, I hope you guys have a good day.